Okay, I'm going to talk to Michael right now from Spexy Geospatial, and they've got an incredible project, Spexagon. Did I get it all right? You got it perfect there. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Tell us about Spexagon. We're talking about new aerial imagery. Yes. How does that work? So what the, there's multiple issues in the uh, aerial capture of imagery right now on a global scale. Um, what we're doing is enabling uh, little drones that you buy at uh, like a Best Buy. Okay. And we have a decentralized drone collection platform. So we're able to have, so say you have a city and they have about 30 or 50 people that have these drones. Right. And they're just, they went on a vacation, they bought it for nice photos, but then they put it in their drawer. So what we're able to do is actually connect to these drones and have standardized missions to fly spexagon zones across an entire territory. Amazing. So we break the world up into these little zones called spexagons. And as you're going through the city, you'll say, oh, the spexagon's available. You stop, you push a button, the drone flies up, collects all the data, comes down, and it transfers it to the cloud. And it becomes available through to insurance companies, to uh, assessment authorities, to government authorities for emergency planning and operations. And you can think of uh, like the wildfires in British Columbia at this time or flooding uh, in the east. Um, you need pre previous data and post data. So to collect the data is actually quite expensive. So in a decentralized way, we're able to get the data quickly and inexpensively into the hands of people that make decisions. And it's the most up-to-date data as exactly. well. So it's not just about having data, it's about having frequent data and up-to-date data. That makes the data more valuable and useful because a decision maker has to have actual high resolution to see what's actually there rather than satellite data, which has coverage and has frequency, but doesn't have resolution. Or you can drive around in a vehicle and you have really high precision, but you can't see in somebody's backyard or further away off, uh, off the transportation corridor. So a drone, if you think of it as you know street view in Google, you think of it as their mapping, you can think of this as a drone view. So we'll have ubiquitous coverage across huge territories of up-to-date and sustainably collected drone data. Fascinating stuff, and I understand the need for it. And it's really something to think that you all were thinking about that and said, well, you've got aerial footage, but now we need very much up-to-date footage, as you said, in cases of whether it's an emergency or just a company that needs to get a better view of uh, their, their area, their building, up to date. Exactly. So it is about the frequency and high resolution, the combination of the two. And as mentioned, there's no sustainable business model to be able to get that done. So now if you have thousands of users at the end case, we're able to actually compensate pilots from the demand side and get more data created. So we're talking not about petabytes of data, but almost we're in the exabyte of data as well. So there's massive amounts of data to do this. So that's what we're working towards uh, over the next little while to get this all uh, running. So we're doing tests right now in the in Lower Mainland in British Columbia, where we have uh, opened up a, a 2,000 Spexagon area. We've got pilots that we don't know. We just launched it out there. and We had 1,000 people on a wait list to say, hey, we want to fly. Okay. We selected a small group, around 20 or 30, and they flew half the city in uh, under four days. It's impressive. Thank you so much for your time and uh, hey, all the best with the project Spexagon. It sounds like it's off to a fantastic start. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.